This is one of the first projects I ever made. It was done somewhere around five years ago. Underneath all that, uh, all those parts is a Nerf Rabbit Strike. Uh, you can see in the on the very front of it, there's a uh, telescope lens cover. With uh, just behind that is a CPU cooling fan, and just behind that is a aluminum twist lock barrel, and that uh, holds the the whole front end on. Just behind that is a Nerf Vulcan uh, handle with custom 3D printed Picatinny rail and another adapter to hold it hold it onto the, the rail. Uh, on the sides you got uh, two CPU cooling fans uh, made by Zalman. Uh, there are special brackets made just to hold these where the original Nerf mounts were. On the very top, there's a custom aluminum uh, Picatinny rail that's mounted to the Nerf mount. And then on top of that is the just the standard uh, red dot scope. Uh, it's no magnification, it's just red dot. You can see the, the paint job was done by a guy in uh, Georgia for me. Uh, he does awesome work. I, I don't think he's no longer doing it, but I think his daughter is, has taken over the, the uh, business for him. But I sent this down to him in, in pieces and he uh, painted the whole entire gun and, and sent it back to me. On the very bottom in the front is uh, another CPU cooling fan or cooling unit and that sits just below the two LED flashlights. The flashlights are held on there by 3D printed mounts onto a 3D printed adapter onto another custom machined aluminum bracket that holds everything on the front end. On either side, you have uh, for for magazines. There are actually slide projector reels, and on the inside of that are two uh, lens covers for telescopes. I don't know if you're old enough to remember what a slide projector reel is, but uh, uh, these were used in the past for <laughs> showing movies and and well slides actually or pictures on the screen. So this project took around three months to make. Uh, it was a lot of work as far as uh, detailing the parts and and going through and, and making sure everything fit. But uh, you too can do something like this if you have the uh, spare time. I just rummage through your your basement or wherever you got your spare parts and you can uh, put something together just like this. Um, it takes a little bit of a while and a little bit of talent, but uh, I don't see why n any of you couldn't do this.